So tell me, what do you like about the car so far? The thickness of the wheel. All right, so you like the thicker steering wheel? What else so far? Yeah, so the seats in this car are, are, are pretty nice. Um, they're not they're not stiff or hard like a lot of uh, sports cars are. So we definitely have um, a pretty plush uh, seating. We haven't sat in the back yet, but so far the passenger and the driver's side feel really good. And then, uh, how do you like that power? It's very nice. Yeah. So if you're watching this video, you probably already know that electric cars have 100% torque available or 100% of their power available off the starting line. So even though even though the car only has 258 horsepower, uh, it feels a lot faster than that. I mean, it definitely puts you back in your seat and uh, it'll put a smile on your face. And uh, the last car that I had was a twin turbo BMW uh, 3 Series and it feels very much like uh, a twin turbo car uh, so power wise I think I think most people are going to be happy with this car uh, the ride I know a lot of people are saying that the ride is pretty uh, stiff but I actually find it uh, quite nice uh, there are some modifications that Tesla can actually make they do if you don't like the suspension you, you can actually take this in and they'll actually put a, so a second set of springs on that are a little bit more comfortable but so far driving in Chicago with uh, some of these really terrible roads uh, so far it hasn't been too bad uh, the the touch screen here uh, so far it's been relatively easy to use there's some things that are kind of confusing um, but like a lot of people online are saying as well modifications will come with uh, over the air updates one thing I didn't one thing I don't like right now is this uh, the blinker up there it's it's not very loud um, so it's kind of hard to hear it. and then when you add that together with the uh, turnstock it's, it's very easy to press so you don't get a too much of a tactile feedback that you've actually engaged the turn signal so sometimes it could feel like uh, that it's not even on um, so I wish that was a little bit louder but otherwise uh, yeah the steering wheel is quite nice it's not too big it's like the perfect size um, one thing I have really liked so far is this charger right here. All you do is just set your phone right on it, and it's like I have a uh, a Google Pixel 2. You just pop it right down, and it's it's real easy to find this little charge right here, the little charging port. And it looks like uh, the owner of this vehicle, because we're not the owners, we're actually just renting this from Get Around. Uh, they have two different charge ports, one for uh, USB-C and then one for the uh, the iPhone there. And then if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, this is a card that also acts like a key um, and then you can also use your phone via Bluetooth um, but yeah so far it's really nice uh, we're really liking it um, as you can see and you've probably already seen from many other videos as well the interior is pretty minimalist which is something that I've always wanted in a car but not too many auto manufacturers are willing to put in a, a minimalist interior uh, but so far it's working it's working out for me it'll be a lot easier to clean too because there's not too many crevices in this car uh, we haven't tested out the uh, speaker system yet um, so we're not quite sure if that how good that sounds uh, but otherwise everything else is working well um, one improvement that I would like though is these little these little buttons here to turn up the uh, the temperature on the car that'd be nice if they were bigger because you have to be really precise when you press it like you can't just you know keep your eyes on the road and then press it at the same time it has to be really precise so it'd be nice if those were a little bit bigger any uh, 
uh, any additional thoughts? Um, it takes some getting used to adjusting the side mirrors. Um, and you can't do it while you're driving unless you adjust on the screen, which is probably difficult for the driver if there's not a passenger. If you need to make any quick adjustments. Yeah. And even though we've been driving in the city under, you know, under 30 miles an hour, have you found yourself looking over at the speedometer at all? No. Yeah. I maybe looked at it just now when we had more time to go a normal speed and not city traffic. Um, but it's not, I, I expected it to be so it would be an inconvenient spot to look, but it's really not that inconvenient since it's right, right there. Yeah. You think if we were like on the highway, it might be different when things are moving a lot faster? Or... Um, I'm a short person, so it's nearly in the line of my eyes. Yeah. So it's not too terrible. Um, the highway might be a little different, but. Probably not. It's a, when we had uh, the Prius, that was definitely too far over to look at it comfortably. So this is easy enough to see. I don't know. We don't have any sun today while we're test driving it, so I don't know how things look on the monitor with the sun. But I don't think it would be a problem. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. And one thing <clears throat> off the bat, when she got in the test drive, uh, she did have problems with the stock, you know, figuring out how to get it into drive and, and reverse. And the, the car would, uh, you know, obviously warn you if it's in neutral and you're trying to step on the gas, it'll tell you to put it in drive. Um, we, we have tried to use it, the autopilot, um, and it is kind of weird to use autopilot because you have to press down three times in a rapid succession. Um, but yeah, that uh, yeah. You know, obviously, once you drive the car more and more, you'll figure out how to use it properly. But off the bat, it might be a little bit challenging. Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll end this video. Um, uh, my thoughts on this are, you know, I, I probably won't be getting my car until late 2018 because I'm just getting a basic Model 3. Uh, we're just taking this out for a test drive. We're renting this on Get Around. Um, and the owner, uh, whose name is Paul, kind enough to let us use his car for, for a couple of hours. If you're interested, I'll put in a, a code at the very bottom of this video. And then you can use it for $20 off your first get around ride. And uh, hope you like the video. See ya.